Yeah. yeah. Ham Radio, we back with TM88, the motherfucking God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How you doing, man? Can I just say, right. I'm very uh, sad that the laptop's gone, bro. Your legendary uh, PC with the weed nugs that was stuck no, on the No, I still got it. Oh, you still got it? Oh, thank yeah. God. I saw you walk in with the with the iPad. I was like, damn, he upgraded. Oh, nah, yeah. This is way more fun. <laughs> fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah. So you still, That's right, you the PC. Yeah, that shit was... I remember you brought it, and then... Uh, do you remember you played us that Wiz song, and then it accidentally got leaked? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> My shit is staying leaked. Well, I did, you just tweeted about that today also, right? What, what was tweeted it about it two weeks ago, too. Yeah, that shit kind of fuck up. Like the whole rollout. How does that? Shit. Like, is it just an engineer that just like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and email this somewhere? Oh, I really don't know. Like, it's I don't know. It's this one like blog that gets all the leaks, so I don't know. What really. blog is it? Yeah. Call them out. I don't know. Okay, you don't give give him no shine. <laughs> um, so how do you feel like leaks? Fuck, because you said you said leaks leaks fuck everything up. Because it kind of like the artists get on some shit where it's like. It's been leaked. They don't want to put it out on their project, so it kind of missed the whole money oh. situation out and shit. And also yeah, it's not off. really just even the money. It's just the the whole way for the culture. It's just people need that like four songs. It's not kind of halfway complete and right. fucked Especially up mixes. Especially if you spent your time yeah. in the studio with this artist, and now it's not gonna be released. That seems like kind yeah, of a waste yeah, of your it's time. Yeah, a waste of time. Yeah. I saw Most deaf. So Most deaf. has there been has there ever been a situation where you guys actually went back and like finished a track or once it gets leaked you're just like fuck it? Never. Never. Damn. Wow. That sucks. Yeah. Fuck whoever leaked it then. I saw you tweet the other day that you're in a boring studio session. What makes the studio session boring? Um, I think because my like my friends was in there, so it was just like. Oh, you like it when, when the homies. Are I mean, there? sometimes, but you know, I couldn't even catch the vibe. Like just going through a whole bunch of beats and shit, it was just so boring. It wasn't like with an artist that you had like a cool connection with. We're like. Um, I was in there, Dolo. Oh, just to brag yourself. Yeah, just cooking oh, yeah. up. That yeah, sound crazy. Fun. just working on different like yeah, albums you, and shit. You flip shit super fast though, right? Like yeah. I seen you. You said you make like fucking hits in like five minutes. <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. Call, I mean, you would call them hits. I yeah. just call them beats. Yeah. So like, whatever, however they come out. But you don't 10 have minutes, fifteen, twenty, thirty. You don't have like, like I know, like Dre. I had a homie who used to dig for Dre, and he used to have like these are the twenty thousand dollar beats. These are the five dollars thousand dollars. Like he can kind of like knew like how like successful they they would be. Like or I mean, it, I think it used to it used to be like that. Yeah. But now it's changed because it's like a beat. To, to me and Southside and I'm pretty sure it's like Sunny and Metro them a beat is a beat so you really just not even holding back it's just whatever they pick yeah you know crazy you also tweet that uh, it's the same right you guys are doing a 808 Mafia album yeah what's up with that that's tight um, about time we got everybody on there bro um, like Future you know. Thug Uzi oh, wow. Yachty um, Offset I, I think no, no, no. We I don't. No, nah, we got a few Offset songs, but I don't know if like if he's using them for himself. Or yeah. Like, but I mean, we got a lot of people on there. Of course, we doing all the beats. Yeah. yeah. When's that gonna drop? Soon. I got look. These are real goosebumps. I'm excited. That's fucking <laughs> high. That's Weird fucking nice. Soon, man, and you know, it's just be a lot going on with um other people working on their projects. So we have to be in the studio with different artists. I feel like a and lot of doing shows and shit. Yeah, like, I feel like a lot of the producers from 808 Mafia, Southside. Uh, I guess Metro is not technically uh, 808 Mafia. No, nah, he Metro. Dolo. I was gonna say Sunny. Nah, um, everyone's like tr trying to uh, not trying. They're making their own music. Also, do you want to rap? Nah. All right. <laughs> Did you? You never. What made you like go down the production route and not do any kind of like rap? Um. Cause my cousin, like my, I had a, well, I got a cousin where he used to make beats. He don't do it no more. He kind of, he had the Fruity Loop program, and I walked in his room and he was making beats and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Cause it looked like it looked like some Tetris shit. Yeah. So I was like, now what's going on? He was like, man, I'm making beats, Fruity Loops, and he showed me. And it's like ever since then, I was just locked in, studying, trying to come up with new, you know. How old were you when you, your cousin first showed it to you? 14. And you still using Fruity Loops. Yeah. That's You're the crazy. Fruity Loops brand ambassador. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One I of forgot them. about that. You got a whole uh, pack, right? Well, yeah. he was telling That's us about tight. it back at the Dash Radio yeah. Show. Yeah. yeah. 
you're like, I think you weren't the brand ambassador yet, or you're about to be. Yeah, it was in the works. So yeah. The homie was just saying it's funny. Last since last time we've talked to you, you've had like three platinum records. Yeah, I said that. The homie uh, was me. Yeah, yeah, the was homie was me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. What what are the platinum albums? What are your triple platinum uh, records right now? Uh, XO. XO. Yeah. And then it's uh, triple. That's just own. huge. Crazy. Yeah. Did you did you know that was gonna be hit when you made it? <laughs> it was it was stuffed away in like a pack. It was wow. just in there, and That's it so just happened. All my friends are dead, bro. Yeah, <laughs> what, Facts. so catchy. Someone said the other night, eh, I shouldn't explain it. Someone was like, <laughs> I think the song would have been even bigger if it was called "All My Friends Are Dead" instead of "Exo Tour Life." I think "Exo Tour Life" is tight. I think yeah, "Exo Tour Life" kind of um, just put a little like seasoning. Yeah, you, you know, if you call it All My Friends Are Dead, people, you know, certain parents wouldn't let uh, kids listen to the song. Good point. Yeah, it's more um, universal. He's about to release an uh, album tonight at midnight. How much uh, production did you do on it? Oh, wow. Wait, don't you know. really don't know until it gets dropped? I mean, with, with this one, I don't know. That's crazy. So then when it gets dropped, are you look like, you when you see your production credits, if it does, are you like, oh, that's that's a paycheck? Yeah. That's a paycheck. Oh, so you might get a big paycheck at midnight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to put, put it that's that lit. way. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So you don't have no idea. So then once, all right, so in a situation like that where you're like, you know, you got hella packs and then you send off one to Uzi and you don't know what he uses, are there any chances that he's gonna drop some shit that you kind of kick to somebody else? Like, how does like, or do they pay for like a, a holding fee or whatever? No, it's not a holding fee. Damn. So, yeah. so some rappers could be upset tonight, right? Be like, I have that fucking. Thing. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing I thought was cool that I saw you tweet was you were talking about you thought you think it'd be dope to start a school where you teach for loops and it's like for all ages. Yeah, oh, I think that's, that's a really dope. cool idea, and I think you should literally do that. Yeah, because I, I tried going to like music school and shit, and um, I ran out of money, and they kicked me out. So I was like, damn, like you know, people that's really trying to go to school and better themselves, and only thing they can think about is money. So I kind of like was like, man, let me do some shit like where it can be government funded. You know? Yeah, do like and be like a workshop for like that's kids or Fruity Loop. Honestly, that's such that's such a fucking cool idea. Because ninety five percent of the like youth using FL Studio. Yeah. You know, so do you um it's spe- true. speaking of studios, I know you also said you met EXO Tour Life on on a Beats by Dre. Yeah. So that's that's like your only audio reference you had while making it? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how I did it, but <laughs> that's, that's it's, but it's really it's really kind of like knowing your levels. Yeah, and like I I normally level this here. Yeah, you know what I'm so damn, that's crazy. And then um, so then in today's day and age, I know everybody got photos of them in the studio with like big ass boards and like twenty <laughs> cents and shit. Yeah, like you don't need that anymore, right? I mean, cause you make all your shit on that banger ass. Oh, are you bringing it out? Oh, I thought you were bringing out your laptop. I got so excited. <laughs> You're at the front though. Like, no one needs all that extra shit anymore, right? Like, I mean, you made a goddamn triple platinum record on Beats by Dre. Uh, you do need it. You do? Yeah. For, like, final mix downs and shit? Yeah. It. Engineers and people need it. You can't mix on, on uh, I don't know. Nah. I just feel like bedroom studios. I don't, like I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you study it more and, like, learn it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, speaking of Fanta, makes you think of I look like Fanta. I saw you tweet. <laughs> I saw you tweet at, at, at uh, Little B. You're hoping to be on on, on the Black Ken tape. Yeah, did you, with, we was it? Swag. Yeah, did you throw Little B a bunch of a bunch of a bunch of packs? A bunch of yeah, beats? he love him. I mean, that's my boy. I, you know, he cool. Like it's Little B. You know? yeah. He's so. I feel like I feel like he's like so important at least to me. You know what I mean? I love that. Um, y'all are connected. You Little B. It's tight. <laughs> Woo. It was uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did you he listen? got a few. He loved them. He loved the beats. What did so. you think of Black Can? Did you listen to it yet? Mm-mm. No. Uh, <laughs> it's tight. It's on some Bay Area did shit. Did he produce all? I think he produced all of it himself. I didn't think he did, but then I saw a thing. I read that he did. Yeah. It, DJ, DJ Bass Scott. Little Be Rapped on it. Bass Scott produced it. <laughs> that's how he <laughs> That's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah because he's like three different, but, five different people. You know, me and Southside, we got joint EPs coming out with like Lil Yachty and. Um, a few other people, but the oh. one with Lil Yachty is crazy. It's fire. Well, I saw Ski Mask tweet 
about a song with him and Yachty that you produced. Mm-hmm. What's that like? Hard. I think Ski Mask is like out of all I these young dudes. I never met him before. Yo, yeah. Out of all but these like, young dudes, I think a, he's, he's a, a really rap. rapper. Yeah. He's a really rap. Yeah, they got this shit going crazy. Like, <laughs> I see their shows and shit. It's yeah. Lit. Wait, when's that dropping? Um, real soon. Like, it could be next week, the week after the next. I really want to hear Ski Mask and Yachty together on a TMB. I can't even imagine Ski Mask and Yachty together in the first place. Yeah. yeah. That's really tight. Yeah. Um, and another thing I was thinking about, because you know, like, uh, Little Wop and Hood Rich Pablo Juan just got signed to 1017. When that happens, does Gucci reach out to like y'all and 808 Mafia to get beats? Like, do you think that because Little Wop hasn't rapped over like a 808 Mafia beat yet, has he? Because mm, because I, I, I was talking about him. Like, do you think that he'll become a big star if he's over 808 Mafia beats? Possibly. Yeah. Because we're I I mean, just I the name we, alone. Because I think like that's strong. what makes like that will make. Cause that's what could make a young rapper who's like just getting signed to Gucci. Like, what could make him blow up and be the next level is to get on like a TM eighty eight beat. Go Gucci. I don't. Know, I want to hear it. I mean, has he hit you up, Gucci, nah, about his new artist? No, not yet. But not you, yet. it's coming soon. I mean, we are we cool with Pablo Wine. He dope. He's a dope artist. Yeah. So, yeah. So soon. I mean. Only time, you know, it's so much going on. You just never know, like, what day you're going to be working with this person or that person. Is your schedule so crazy where you're just like, like, someone hits you up, like, oh, by the way, you're playing a show in two days. And you're like, yeah. oh, i got to get on the flight. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the scheduling crazy because, like, the studio sessions kind of run into each other. Uh, yeah. So I'm right now I'm working with Travis on his album. That's what you're doing right now? Yeah, but I have to fly out Saturday. And go straight into another studio session. So it's Damn. like, that's crazy. What's Wait, Travis crazy. Yeah. looking like? It's Travis. Man. Yeah, <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> you know Travis what, got that shit. Man. What's he like in the studio? I heard he's a real nice guy. Yeah, I mean he elevates like the production. You know how some people kind of the production saved them. He kind of like saved the production. Yeah. Wow. You know, his voice is definitely sometimes. like an instrument. I mean, just the way he works it is definitely. It sounds like a synthesizer at points, and you're just like, oh, he's adding like a new melody. Yeah, or yeah, amazing. That's crazy. Who do you think's one of the greatest artists you've been in the studio with that have like the most impact? Impact, like how? I don't know. Someone that like maybe when you were first coming up that like really kicked some game to you in the studio. Um, the first person would be Waka. Oh yeah, yeah. But the person that really kind of like changed my whole like career like was Future. Oh yeah. Yeah, I started working with Future, and it's like everyone was like, "Man, we gotta get a TM, you know? <laughs> we gotta get an 808 Mafia." Like me and Southside, it's just I don't know, man. It's what's Future like in the studio? I would say um, Waka, Gucci, Future. Um, Travis, um, Wiz, and Juicy J. Damn, that's so tight that you've worked. And Thug, yeah, yeah, I can't forget. Thug. I think oh, I can't wow. forget Thug. Thug yeah. <laughs> What's but uh, it's not in order. Yeah, no right, order, right, right. no order. No What's order. really crazy to me is that even you know working with Juicy J is that even since the Three Six Mafia days, he kind of like paved the way for trap music right now. Legendary. Uh, how's he like in the studio? Does he ever like give like fatherly, <laughs> fatherly, fatherly advice? advice. Opinion, you and fatherly like advice. Uncle advice. He's like uncle. Uncle. And Juicy. I, I wouldn't say he paid away for trap. I don't even know what kind of music. Three six would it be. It's like I don't. Because that early shit was like crunk, and I feel like crunk kind of turned into trap. It's like murder music. Yeah, the early underground Memphis shit. It's early. Like, yeah. It's like horror, core murder, fucking. Play me some Pippin, man. Yeah, but Juice, he kicked, you know, the unk game. That's Uncle Juice. You know? Yeah. I, I, like, actually went with the Cole 45 dudes to Juicy's pad, and he was actually, and, like, I've been, you know, I've been, I've done shows with him, and he always seems kind of standoffish, but at his pad, he was so nice offering us snacks. Mm-hmm. And, like, he was, he like, the you, nicest wait, dude. Wait, what kind of snacks did Juicy he had, offer He had you? chips and shit, and it was in the studio. <laughs> did you call him Juicy? And, did you and say, also, thank you, Juicy? Juicy still just is his manager's Ray, who's his cousin. Uh, yeah. uh, the lady that, that upholds his uh, mansion over there is the same lady that's been with him since Memphis. Oh, Juicy right. J really stays like with his family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a cool dude. It's really cool. 
Do you remember that one time he played ham and he threw out it was like a thousand dollars? Yeah, he threw out a bunch of money. Just stood on the end. Just and then he dangled his chain in front, uh, around the <laughs> yeah. crowd like dogs. He's really yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, he's tight. Real nice. The last ham we did was um, they got shut down. Oh, the one in Hollywood. It was supposed to be me and Juice. Yeah, oh. there was. Remember, it was a line was, across, oh, like yeah. down the street. And you got to play for a little bit, no? Yeah, but. Yeah, they were the the fire marshals. I was, a real, I was a real beginner then too, man. Like, I think if I did another ham now, that shit would be. Oh, like well, well, we will definitely it. welcome you with open arms. So yeah, that was crazy. Y'all you should let to. me and Southside do it. Ooh, yeah, together yeah. that'd be tight. I'm down. Um, we should definitely do that. Yeah, you know what's funny? Because that one we were trying to do it like in a small place and make it intimate, but yeah, too many people came and the cops shut it down. Yeah, there was like literally 300 people outside, and the the venue held like 150. Uh, Ju- Juicy's man, the uh, his engineer, Crazy Mike. Yeah, he was really Mike. he was really trying to party that <laughs> night though. He was like, hit me up with the after party, this and this, and I was like, man, you going crazy right now? He was drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, is that the dude that was Crazy uh, Mike? Yeah. during the sound check, he's like, we need more bass. Oh, he's, he's like, very <laughs> he's very particular about uh, how Juicy's live sound. That's is. funny. <laughs> He's a, he's a DJ too, right? DJ and sound. Yeah, that's funny. They do a lot of shit. Um, you said you upped your uh your live show game. What have you been working on to like up it? Um, I I did three tours. Oh wow! Four. Um, DJ three with tours? Thug. Yeah, I was on um, Young Thug DJ for a minute. Oh crazy! Wait, yeah. did you DJ for Thug at Fuck Yeah Fest? F Y F S? Yeah. Oh, I seen it. And then um, he ended it and had you play Chief Keef. Yeah. Uh, fin- 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 I can't pronounce it. Yeah. Finito. Finito, thank and you. I just did my own tour, like, sponsored my own tour this time. So it's over with now. So, like, I just, I don't know. It's like a new, I done went up new levels. Yeah. Like, just the whole stage presence and, you know, just, you know, you know how this shit goes. Yeah, but you already had a really cool stage presence because you're like, a large dude and it's like bigger than life and you look cool and your hair looks tight. I don't know, you've always like Yeah, but cool. you got but you gotta get it right. Like, man, yeah. you gotta have stage because you're competing with you know True. Cause I think even like when we had you in South by Southwest like two or two or three years ago, even if people didn't know who you were then, it was like still this big cool looking motherfucker with green hair, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, damn this is tight. Yeah, and shit, I just you know, I don't know, I just feel better. I've been working out and shit. Okay. Oh, there you go. What made you start working out? I, mean, I was drinking like too much lean and eating too much like. That should make you chubby, give you gut. Does lean make you hungry or is it just Yeah. Like, huh. And then smoking and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, we, we make beats so we have to sit down in a chair and shit. That shit is all How often do you go to oh, the gym? Kind of like being in an office. Like four times a week. Okay. Yeah. You get in it. Are you doing, you doing cardio weights? Barely do the weights, but I'm more yeah. on the yeah, on like um more tired like training and oh shit, you doing shit. some fighting shit? Yeah, who Man. like inspired you to do that? I would that? be so scared to How be like that. Um, <laughs> my trainer, he actually like work at the barber shop that I go to. Is that how you met him? You were at the barber shop and he's like, yeah, I've been training? knowing them since I was like fucking ten, like nine, ten. So that's crazy. And, and I just... think he like fifty two. <laughs> But he looked like he's fucking 30, bro. Like, he just like ripped and shit. He's a fighter. I had to get on it. I was like, man, slacking out here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, did you chill out on like not drinking as much lean and shit? Yeah, I just, yeah. I read a tweet on top about if you don't want to, that you got a DUI not so long ago. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, I flew back from LA just like going, it was, um, I forgot what was going on. I know I, I flew back from LA soon as I got in. You know how you drinking on the plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I, right. then I, I got in, I just dropped my shit off at the crib and hopped in the whip and went straight to the place, like the little meetup spot. We was drinking and shit. Soon as I got in the car and made a U turn, bro, the state patrol pulled, uh, pulled me over. It was like, damn. sir. And I, I'm telling him the whole time, like, you know how you got a gun in the car and you're like, yeah. man, I got to tell him I have a gun. Yeah. I'm like, Ooh. sir, I have a gun in the car. People been getting shot. I'm yeah. like, man, what the That's fuck? That's literally what happened. I'm like, man, I got a gun. He don't. They don't even care about the gun. They like, man, you DUI. I'm like, what? So when you said you have a gun, gun in the car, he didn't like, you know, get like Freak crazy? Out. No, bro. Because oh. that's just what happened to Homeboy, right? Uh, he said, Orlando, he's, Castle, yeah, he, goes, yeah, he I said a gun, a gun in the car. Dude freaked out. I was like, shook. Pull his gun. Yeah, like, I would have been scared. I'm not trying to. And it's dark. 
And I'm the only car right here. It's like fucking four in the morning. Wow. But he didn't care because he was just like, yo, have you been drinking? He just wanted me to get out so he can test me and shit. What made him think that you'd been drinking? Did you like do an erratic ass U-turn or? I was drunk. You know, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like super, you're super drunk? <laughs> did, he, he did he do the, um, like, do you have to do the whole, did you have to get out of your car and do the whole field sobriety shit? Yeah, I passed. And then he did the breathalyzer and that's what happened? Yeah. So then I got a DUI. Uh, also, I got two of them. And then in my DUI <laughs> class, they told me that uh, don't take the breathalyzer. Yeah, you don't because you're not mandatory. You're not. It's not mandatory to take any of those field test shit. So you just say, "All right, just take me in." Um, and then by the time they take you in and shit, your alcohol level drops like a couple points. But so. they fucked you because like I, you try not to do the breathalyzer, but then they'll be like. If you don't do the breathalyzer, that's an automatic DUI. Yeah, you but it's not. For you year. just yeah. But that's, I mean, that's, that's just scary. them fucking punking. So you gotta do yeah. like a DUI course and all that shit now. Uh, <laughs> you better take know. care of that, bro. <laughs> Man, we, we got hits. Yeah, <laughs> we true. true. I'll worry about this shit later. True. It's like my lawyer would take care of that. My lawyer would show up. True. <laughs> Uh, well, on a positive note, man, we got a lot of shit going on too. Like, what's going on? What you have, what you have popping? Um, what's the thing you're most excited about? Um, this 808 album. Yeah. Same. Yeah, because it, it it finally give us like control over the music and how we want to drop it. You know. Yeah. Like, n- normally we have no control. However, the artists want to drop it is. It's been a long coming time coming, out. I feel. Yeah. It's crazy that it hasn't happened already. Yeah, I'm really surprised. It's timing. Yeah. Me and me and Southside, and even the whole 808, we way bigger. Like, yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago, everyone at 808 went platinum in wow. the same week. So it was, that's insane. Thanks. That's so dope, man. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's like a super group now. Yeah. Damn. And then that's just so tight. You're just like plucking people. You're like, you're gonna sound good on this. You're going to sound good on this. Did you guys collab on think, a bunch of beats? Yeah, but really we on some shit where it's like we're not trying to put the all-star cast like on one track. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, if it's, if it's a 21 track, we might just leave it 21, yeah. you know? So. Right, you're not going to try to do some big-ass awesome posse cut. DJ like, Khaled shit where it's like 19 people by a poolside. Oh, man. Is that the song? Khaled album hard. Yeah. He's. Do you see that video of him Shout doing out that, that little dance? I love thing the on dance. Stage? He looked he's like he's gonna fuck around and break an ankle though. Nice. Nah, oh my god, bro. <laughs> just, like, just like offset his weight a little bit. That's like shit. I do that walking sometimes. Bro. <laughs> True. Um, I seen you tweet. Um, I seen you seen you retweet. Uh, Will Smith is gonna be in the biopic of Obama. Do you watch a lot of films and shit? Ooh, yeah. What, what movies are you fucking with? Um. Man, I watch a lot of movies, but my shows, Game of Thrones. Ooh. You're, you're, are, are, are you caught up right now? With and this? I'm locked in. Okay, can I tell you? All right, so the- I can't wait for these two days to just- So, spoiler. Sunday. The, wait, dra- but- the Dragon White Walker, right? Well, you saw that? Okay, no. All okay, right, so let me tell you this. What is it going to shoot out? Ice? I, it, I think it's going to be Ice on some Sub-Zero shit. But look, I don't even watch the show. I started and I haven't seen the last two seasons. I predicted that was going to happen two days before. Just but I'm like, yo, I guarantee you the fucking dragons to be a White Walker. But, and they fucking turned into a goddamn White Walker. But another thing I think you predicted was what? you think that the little boy is going to be oh, able to control the dragon. Control the dragon as well. Yeah, you know the uh, oh, brand yeah. that he yeah. can because he can see control everybody's animals. sleeping on him. That's what I'm saying. And he she, could just and his sister probably gonna be the one to kill Cersei. O M J. She the sneaky one, like. Damn. Yeah. Is it hard for you to like keep like the reason why I stopped watching it because I got hella ADD, so I'm always on my computer and shit. Like, there's like subplots and subplots, and like you know what I'm saying. Like, is it easy to do like? Follow along, like. Well, we gotta watch. I'll let him answer, but. <laughs> I mean, you just you gotta start from the it's first nice, one. Man. I mean, I, that's, well, what's important for me because I'll watch it. And there's a lot of shit going on, and then I watch the the like after shit uh, where they talk yeah. about it and they explain shit that I didn't even realize. Even though I was, paying, I was like, oh, that's what that shit meant. Okay, I, I need to watch the after shit that explains it, or I'm just or I get lost. That's smart, man. It's a lot of characters in there that's gonna come like. It's gonna be important. But after this episode, even the little fat dude, <laughs> yeah. The du- yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling you, bro. But after this episode, it's like a mid-season break, right? I don't know, it's the last one. It's, it's the last one, but it's it's not the whole season. It's a mid-season break, right? I think no, the, no, no. It's what? a two-part, like 
finale. It's like two it's split in half. Yeah, on, it's bro. only been like six episodes, right? Yeah, well, they they, uh, they made the season smaller, smaller so they can make the episodes longer. Like one of them's gonna be two hours, I think. They're just trying to spread it out yeah. as long as they can. To me, that's some bullshit because I don't want to like wait because now they just need to make a movie, bro. If they yeah. don't do that. Because after this, how long are we going to have to wait for the, the next season? The last finale need to be in the theaters, bro. Oh, that'd be dope. That's a good idea. I'm telling you. Question. So I, I talked to Alex from ANC about this. We try to flip the, the Game of Thrones intro song. Have you guys ever tried to do that? Mm-mm. You should do that as the 808 Mafia your intro. your favorite show. You got to get your music on. Uh, I'll be on power, too. Yeah? Power, I haven't seen bro. that. Oh, she's excited. What's power? power? Like What's that she on? Hyped. Huh? It's, man, it's so dope. It's, stars. it's on stars. What's it about? I don't even. I don't Just know anything about the show. Drugs and money and sex and violence. I don't know. It's. I guess it's. Uh, it's dope, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Okay, I should uh, What other show you focus? It's funny because so far the two shows you like are like about power. Because I'm sure power is about power, but Game of Thrones is also about people trying to get power in this kingdom. Yeah. But the Game of Thrones is also, to me, is like, back then, you know, I was the Seven Kingdoms. That's what's going on now. Like, yeah. They're running the world. So, you know, it's the same shit. It's kind of just putting you up on, you know. Who would just, you say got the dragons? Is is North Korea the, the White Walkers? <laughs> I don't want to get political. <laughs> but social media, man, I'm not even. Trying. I mean, our president's hella on social media, and it's crazy because Barack Obama is like younger and cooler, but you didn't see him tweeting hell, hella fucking much because he's a goddamn man. Like, he's not it's crazy how much this motherfucker be tweeting. Obama was so cool. Yeah, the uh, biopics gonna be good, and you know, if Will Smith is in it, it's probably gonna really be a good ass film. Yeah, That's the, I didn't even know about that. Uh, I didn't know either until I saw his tw- Twitter and I was like, oh, oh shit. Oh, tight. Will Smith is such a good actor, man. He's a yeah. Scientologist, though, right? Nah. I think he is, or he was. Nah. No? No. Oh, they're saying if you could talk a little closer to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. What kind of... These are the honeys? Yep. Is oh, that your favorite flavor? Um, let's take. Let's put the call. The number up for the calls. I mean, we keep miss, missing the calls. The number is... We'll let them throw it up on the screen. Yo, feel it. Feel free to call yep. in. There it is. 323-906-7390. Ooh. There you go. Um, so TM stands for track man? Uh-uh. No? What does the TM stand for? The money. The money. Uh. And what's 88? That's my old hood. I knew it was going to be that. I was like, that's that's like the street you grew up on? Yep. Why does... I feel like... Who said track man? Where did you hear that? Wikipedia. That's what Wikipedia says? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia got a lot of bullshit on there. Really? <laughs> that's so crazy. You can just input whatever you want? People can. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to make Someone's like, own. I think it's the track, man. I'm going to write that on <laughs> Wikipedia for sure. <laughs> Motherfucking Wikipedia. I'm going to email them. Um, I saw you tweet that you're over this indu- indu- industry shit. What's going on with the industry? Like, What's your gripes with high. it? You're just high? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the most difficult thing about... Because it's one thing to be an artist, but to be a successful artist, there's, like, a lot of business and shit that got to come with it. Like, the bullshit of, like, dealing with, like, suits and shit. Like, how do you deal with that? Or do you just have people to handle it for you? Yeah, you have people. It's kind of... I used to kind of try to... And it's, it's stressful. Yeah. <laughs> I just rather work and, um, you know, make the hits and get the money. Yeah. Take care of my daughter. Dope. Wait, mm-hmm. how old is your daughter? Three. Her birthday oh. next month. That's oh, awesome. Really? Are you going to do anything special? She's not watching, right? Yeah, so she's not. You she, can tell. <laughs> she want to um she want an Elsa party. Oh, okay. Wait, Elsa is Disney. Um, yeah. the, one of the Frozen. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> other dad over there? He, yeah, another dad, he knows it. <laughs> oh, that's the What's the the song? Uh Let It Go. Yeah. I Let think, It Go. Yeah. My brother has uh, two daughters, and uh, <laughs> dude, he knows all the Disney songs. It's crazy. Man. They're just like, Papa, how, how the fuck do you even know that? He's like, dog, they like watch this you movie. You know it like, without knowing it. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be in the kitchen or some shit. It's like, it's crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, hold on. This someone, shit. Said, someone said you should remix the Disney songs. Oh, that'd be lit. And get sued. That's true. Oh, damn. That's true. What's the rule with the sand? Is it? Is there like a certain amount of sample you can use where you don't have to clear it, or you just pretty much at, at your level got to clear everything just in case? 
Um, just clear it. Just clear it. Yeah. Damn. So then, uh, do do you ever kick anyone a beat, and then there are samples on it, and they're just like, uh, just because for, for like clearance and like having to spend extra money, do you just like remake it and shit, or? They never know if it's a sample, oh. and then the song would be so hard. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> I just seen some weirdo uh, He tweeted TM And he was like I need to talk to you Because my guitar loops in the song And TM just wrote back I'm Is I make that beat? <laughs> yeah It was like <laughs> Fuck you hit me for it Yeah That's That's crazy <laughs> I don't know That's why I make everything He said DM yeah. me immediately <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be It'd be a lot of shit That I don't make And they're like Yeah TM You You didn't put my name on it I'm like Man I didn't make it <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um. So your hair is pretty iconic. I feel like it's it's a it's like kind of like a logo at this point. I feel like because even that skull that who what was that mixtape? It was you and uh, Juicy and, and Rich. yeah, yeah with the skull and then like the hair. That shit's super dope. If you didn't have dreads, what would you have? Tough question. A box. A box. Just like. Sh- 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, but you should do like Kid and Play style and get that motherfucker up, hella. Just super tight. I had I had it pretty high the first time. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I had a box. And, and then it, it just dropped. dropped. <laughs> oh crazy. That's tight. I you wish. ever think about coloring the green different color? You just like just do it up different colors. Black. Jet black. <laughs> Jet black. <laughs> yeah. On some goth shit. <laughs> Lit. Is there any kind of music that people wouldn't assume that you listen to? That you listen to? Um, Jimi Hendrix. Okay, I can see. Because I watched all his documentaries, I was just so locked in and tuned to the music. And he, he like really made a whole bunch of shit that I never knew he made. I was like, damn. Yeah, so you know, Apple Music is true. Key. Yeah, <laughs> you can get to anybody's song. So yeah, he was crazy. Didn't know how to read music, but like fucking. Me go. neither. Yeah, I don't know how to read music. That's true. Just click. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It really is like pretty wild that uh you kind of just like do your thing. Like yeah, I don't know. Just like it works. Yeah. And like, how many motherfuckers are like want to like try to learn to read music and do all this other shit? And you're just like, it's so natural. For you and all the 808 Mafia dudes. Yeah, it took time, though. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of making beats in the closet, the garage. The, we even went as far as, like, plugging up in the car, you know, bringing oh, wow. the extension cord, the little <laughs> shit outside, plugging it in with the auxiliary. Yeah. We would have a whole party outside. Came, came in handy now because no rapper, no matter, like, the size of them, they're not popping without – they a all beat. have 808 Mafia beat. Yeah. All of them. Do you think uh, producer tags help? Because right now I feel like producers are getting a lot of shine, which is what they're supposed to get. But I feel like at, there was like an era where producers weren't getting any fucking shine. Like it was just strictly rappers. But I feel like producer tags came along and people were like, oh, this is what this is. Like, do you think that was like definitely helped like the producer like industry like pop off? Yeah. I mean, yeah. The shot of red and then the Zay Tobin, Drummer Boy. Um, Mike Will, yeah, and us, yeah. and Metro, Sunny, all of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's definitely like a now thing. I think you guys definitely, because I feel like there's always producers that like people gave love to, or like, you know, back in the day, it was like, oh, Manny Fresh is in this, but it was like far few between, but I feel like when like Juicy dropped uh, Rubber Band Business, and Waka dropped uh, Flocka Veli, and the new trap sound oh, yeah, started. Lex Lugas, who yeah, yeah, Lex, I feel Lex is a very important part of it. And all 808 Mafia, because then, like, it became a thing where, like, oh, like, to get this trap sound now, like, it's literally producer based. Yeah. It wasn't like that before. I don't know. I feel like it's People definitely. People buy albums because of the producers. Yeah. yeah. A lot, too. That's new, I feel like. No, it is. Yeah. I, uh, it's new. I think that's tight. Super fucking tight. Because it, it works for me. I, yeah. I love it. <laughs> And you guys have, I feel like, another revenue source of like being able to DJ out because your guys' names are more popular. Because like if, like I don't know, someone like uh, who who did the uh, the new Jay Z album, uh, No ID, No ID. So someone like him, he's like a like a old school old school hip-hop. famous producer, but like ain't no one booking him to go DJ at no spots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then like now producers like you know 808 Mafia, anyone there like can show up and then rock a set 
because they're they have the clout to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like and do it well. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, it's very true. I true. love doing it. It's cool. Um, Space Coast Perp was in here and he said he feels like a lot of the trap sound sh- um, comes from um, Don, uh, D- uh, Devontae Swang from Jodeci. Do you ever listen to Devontae Swang from Jodeci, his beats? A lot of the hoops. He was around. Devontae, is that how you say Devontae Swang from Jodeci? Smoke Perp, my, my dude. No, no, not was Smoke he? Perp. It was Space Coast Perp. Oh, Space Coast Perp. He was, he, he was accrediting it to Devontae Swang and to Timberland. Man, them niggas high. <laughs> yeah, man, that's cap. <laughs> man, Devante De, De Swain. <laughs> Boy, did did y'all uh, hear that repeating? Yeah, that's like, what he said. Devante Swain and Timberland. That's that's what he felt. Man, they legends, but like trap. Nah, nah, bro. Who do you think was the first person? Like, what was the evolution of, of the sound? The first person on the trap wave. I think it would be like because. Producer wise, Shotty Red was the first yeah. person, and then you know evolved to us. You know, right? Did you ever feel the pressure like um, two or three years ago when the trap EDM stuff sound like started being big? Did you ever feel like the pressure to try to make that shit? It's goofy. You don't like it, do you? Yo, <laughs> let's take this call. No, I'm. I ain't gonna say it's goofy. I just right. It's not my preference. I'm glad no, you didn't just, do it. You Same. kept you kept it you kept it T M A. Yeah, yeah. I, them, them sounds kind of be hurting my ears. <laughs> yeah. Yo, handphone. Who this? You in line with T M eighty eight? Yo. Hold on, hold on. Can you hear me? Hold on. You got yeah, ten, yeah. There you go. You in line with T M eighty eight? You got a question? Uh nah, not necessarily. But T M eighty eight, your shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? One of the best niggas out. I heard of your shit, man. I see you, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to big you up real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but I do have a question. Is there any, like, um, producers that, you know what I'm saying, give you, like, a run for your money, like, you, like, yo, son, like, this this person, like, on, the, on some motivational shit, like, who keep you on your toes, like, and please don't say Metro. Southside. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I respect that. I respect that. No, I respect that. <laughs> I was hoping that you would name somebody that wasn't in the gang, but um, you know what I'm I mean, other than other than murder. Ooh, who you said? Murder beats. Oh, murder beats. Well, you'll smoke that nigga in a beat battle, my nigga. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Yo, bro, do, bro. Do, you, do, nah you, bro. do you think? That's real you, talk. Do you think trap producers should do beat battles like on, like on some uh, hip hop beat battle type shit? You're not into that? Yeah, because cause the producers, y'all niggas is as big as the rappers nowadays. Like, these rappers now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more so categorizing them based off of, like, you know what I'm saying, sound. Like, now, like, I'd be more hyped to listen to somebody's song, not even off of the strength of, like, the features, more so on who made the beat. There you you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I see certain names, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, that's all it really come down to right now is just kind of like, you know, there's skill versus skill, you feel me? Like Facts. So it's like you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing with it ain't nothing for two niggas to just talk shit to each other on a beat. Like the skills come in like when it actually comes to making the beat and that's where, you know what I'm saying, y'all in you know what I'm saying, great territory and then, you know, y'all you just gotta battle it up. Facts. I hate you. But it's not it, it's not a necessity. And you know what I'm saying? Your greatness ain't gonna be like, you know, measured by that type of shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But you know, just for the people there, you know, that's just a, something else for the fans to be hyped about and talk about. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Facts. And maybe y'all rappers would approach with caution before they put their trash bars on your beach. So. <laughs> <laughs> you a lot of trash right? bars. Where you calling from, man? New York? Nah, I'm I'm from I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx, but I'm calling from Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? So you already know I'm out here, man. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling you were from New York. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, thanks right, for calling in. No, appreciate I, I that like shit, bro. Do. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, holla at me, man. Vietnam Presidente or Vietnam Presidential, either or. Take a pick, man. Y'all have a good night. You too. All, All right, man. man. I liked him. He was charged. Um, it's funny because yeah. being from the Bronx, like the home birthplace of hip hop. You're course, from the Bronx. No, I'm saying of, <laughs> he was. I know you so of course he wants to see like a beat battle yeah. on like some old school hip hop shit. <laughs> <That's> cool, <man. laughs> you throwing shots. <laughs> Word. Uh, so 
Um, is there anything that you want people to know that we haven't any, talked about yet? Any final plugs? Crash Dummy Label. Yeah, people are waiting for that. What, what, what's up with that? It's on the way. Yeah? It's done. I just got all the paperwork finalized. And, you know. So what's yeah. that? So it's, so it's like- I got four producers already. I'm probably looking for two more. Can you say who the four producers are? So Ooh. I want to do a proper Ooh. like, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Just a proper like, rollout for them and shit. That's tight. Are they like um, kind of unknown ones that you discover that you think- have what it takes. Um, two of them, two of them, um, undiscovered. How'd you come across them? Yeah, how'd you find them? You don't want to give away your secrets. No, 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 no. The first one, um, I got an artist by the name of Spiker. Um, he found them rapping on his beats, and I was like, man, shit, all right, I want to fuck with him. And I've been fucking with him for like two years. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just haven't got nothing in place. But he was young. I think he was like seventeen. Damn. So he just had to grow. And shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then um um how how did I find Oh, the XO beat. I did it with J W oh. Lucas. Oh. I signed him too. Damn, that that's that's a perfect match. And then I got <laughs> um this guy named M P. He did he did a few future songs with me. He on that Meat Mill album too. I forgot the record. Um, fuck. I forgot the name of the record, but it's a few. I got a lot coming up with the whole label shit. Just, just a new entity is kind of. It's the same as 808. It's just another, you know, platform for it. I love that y'all, because I like that you have your label and then Metro Boom just recently announced uh, Boominati. That's all right. His label, it's tight, man. And I feel like y'all are definitely gonna make make some new stars. Yeah. It's, it's dope, man. It's, it's just the beginning. The game needed. Yeah, it's true. Let's get you some more triple plenums. Maybe tonight at midnight. Maybe. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, man. I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. Maybe. And we definitely got to do uh, that that TM eighty eight back to back Southside DJ set. For real. Yeah, that's fire. That's a must. That's a, uh, that's a must. Dope. All cool. right. Um, eight oh eight mafia album. Yeah. You already heard it from the man. It's gonna be fucking crazy. And then what you got the collab album with Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Oh shit, I can't wait. Turn we really we, man, we putting out the single probably in the next few weeks. Me Ooh. and Southside. So Hell yeah. yeah. TM always working, man. Know that. Facts. Shout out Wiz. Out. Shout out Will. <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Gang. Hell yeah. Ham radio guys, thank you for Ham tuning radio. in. We're gonna go to Goody and then we're gonna come back with ham picks. DJ week. stereotype. DJ stereotype, sorry, my bad. Uh yo, TM eighty eight. Thank you so much, thank man. You, man. Appreciate it's been a while, man. It was nice to see you again, G. Yeah. Oh, there's ham a radio, part we're where back. he said uh her booty just wobbling. <laughs> he said it like really weird and like hip hop y. Her booty is wobbling. That's tight. Like Project sounds Blow like Project just gonna say it sounds yeah, like one of the Project shit. Blow guys. I mean, you know, Migos when we when they did Ham, as like all around. <sighs> They're me such of. good fucking rappers. I was so, and at the time, because this is what 2015, yeah. I didn't listen to the, like a shitload of Migos. Yeah, just the and whatever is on. The yeah, radio. but when I saw them that show and how good they were at rapping and playing off each other, I was like, wow. It was like a real rap show. Like really they would impressed. like the moment they would stop, the other two would do the pickups. Like, They're like all tight. dressed the same, even their team was. Yeah. Fucking Migos, man. No wonder they huge. They deserve it. All right, Adam, you know what time it is? It's time to get ill, which is the first rap tape I bought when I was in fourth grade. But what time were you going to say? It's time for hand picks. <laughs> um, time to get Shout out to Beastie Boys. Nice okay, so Arizona. this is hand picks where we uh, tell you guys what we think you guys should listen to. Um, Adam, you're first. Uh, this came out this week or last week. It's Horsehead, mm. dating in the 90s. Mm. I gotta say, uh, I don't care if it's if it because you know we throw shows. So I probably shouldn't pick favorites, but Goth Boy Click um, as a collective is one of the collectives that literally because like I get kind of um, bleak when I look at like how popular SoundCloud raps getting and it's getting washed and it's not underground anymore. But for me, Goth Boy Click like makes me excited about the future of like underground music. Fair, fair. I yeah. love them, and I and I. Everybody and should check out the new little Peep video too. That shit's tight, super tight. But dating the '90s horse set, I think it's super fucking dope. 
Sick. All right. Um, my pick is Mayor by Wiki. Wiki used to be in. Is Rat King still a a, a group? They disbanded. I think they disbanded. Yeah. yeah. And he's also in the new super group Secret Circles, which is Antoine and Little Ugly Man. Hey, and, you know Little uh, Ugly Man has mad fucking new music. No. That's all I'll say. That's tight. He's gonna put out. Oh, I told you. He's gonna put oh, out. Yeah. A, he's gonna put out a split with a certain hardcore band. But I won't say anything else. Mm. Uh, but yeah, this new track he just dropped. It's called Mayor. Had to slow it down. Let y'all know how I roll around. See, I've seen the glow with pound and any fist they holding out. You know I'm about what I wrote about. Trust me. The video is really dope. Uh, he like has a little suit. And he's patching out, passing out like wiki for mayor stickers and shit. And it's like on the beats clearly on some boom bat shit, but. Uh, <laughs> He's definitely on his some like can the rapper singy shit. Really, like, I haven't heard it. It's dope. I mean, it's bars, but then there'll be like melodies in it on some like singy rappy shit. It's really dope, and the video's tight. You guys check it out. Lit. DJ yeah, Stereo yeah. Type. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, check. Uh, my pick is uh, Lil Bark, Big Bark by Cyber, <laughs> aka Syringe. I don't know if some people might know him by Syringe, but wait, who is that? Cyber. Well, I, I he put out an album like earlier this month called uh, Neck Gear. And I guess his thing is Anti World and Disaster Club, so I don't know. Like, Where's he from? So like Washington? Yeah, you, you, I, I don't really know a lot about him, but I thought it was dope. And there's like 25k on it already, and it's only come out like 25 days ago. But oh, like, wow. yeah, yeah. But I thought this was really dope. It's on some like I love this new style of like rap kids are doing like one minute songs. You know, it's like some real punk rock. And, yeah, yeah. But uh, he's interesting too. So I'm just kind of getting familiar with him, but. Uh, I think it's from Washington, and uh, yeah, the crew's like Anti World and Disaster Club. Let's hear it. Welcome to the what? Shoot a nigga gut. So I ain't got the time for question. Leave a nigga shit in the dust. On the track again, pick him up and kill the screw. Got a lot to clean. Why you looking with him up? Those are the hand picks. Uh, guys, this is Ham Radio. Make sure to tune in next Thursday and share. This will also be on YouTube. Just search Ham Radio, all deaf music, all deaf digital, ham on everything. Um, that's pretty much if it. you live in LA, come to our party Saturday. It's gonna be lit. W- it's, in a, it's in a DIY venue, very DIY. No ageism, no sexism, no racism. It's for everybody to enjoy underground music. You can RSVP at www.hamoneverything.tv. Uh, I'm Romo. This is Adam. That's DJ Stereotype. Ham Radio. See you Thursday.